The Chaos Android is a demonically possessed automaton fabricated by Chaos Squats. Within each construct is bound the essence of a demon who provides the animus of these shine and plastil skeletons. They are forced to obey any command given to them by their mortal masters, but go out of their way to interpret any given order as they see fit in order to undermine it. A Chaos Android is a shining skeleton of hardened plasteel. Its cunning construction is a secret known only to certain tainted Chaos Squat fabricators. Working in league with other Chaos Renegades, each android contains a tiny bound demon, an animating spirit imprisoned within its plasteel shell by the conjurations of a Chaos Sorcerer. The contained demon hates being trapped this way and will do anything to escape, but is bound to obey any direct order it is given. The demon will always try to interpret any command in as a perverse a way as possible in order to avoid doing what it's supposed to. The Chaos Androids are obviously precursors to the later Necrons, whose early appearance greatly resembles that of the Chaos Android. Following their initial release with the second edition of the game, all mentions of the Chaos Androids were dropped from later editions. Hey! What's going on everybody? This is G the Hyper Sapien, and in this video I'm going to paint the Chaos Android. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a lore for anyone that may not know the Chaos Android. It's basically the old school Necron before Necrons were around from Space Crusade. Now I remember having that box set and you got these Space Marines you got Chaos Space Marines and Orcs and Gretchens. Okay, so here I'm using Lead Belcher. So you can use any dark silver that you may have. I'm just using this because this is what I have. And Citadel is a brand that is easy to obtain by most people from a local hobby store or obviously from Games Workshop. So I put this on the wet palette so it's quite thinned down. I did that because I don't want any of these details to be clogged up. So I'm just going over all of this. As I said, I don't want to clog up any of the details. But as you can see, it came out quite nicely. So I just went over all of the model with this. You might need a couple of coats because you don't want to put it on too thick. So now I take known oil. You can use any black wash that you may have. But I'm going to go over the whole model with this. Make sure you focus on all the details. So the rib cage, in between his fingers, all those facial features. But I do go over the top surfaces as well with this no oil. Because I want to kind of darken that steel look again. So I'll go over everything with this. It just darkens that lead belcher even more and just brings out all that detail. Now I used Necron Compound. I thought, ah, oh, why not use a Necron paint on this Chaos Android slash Necron. Now I use a makeup brush for the dry brush in here. So I'm kind of focusing on all the raised areas, but the main parts of it, the face, the fingers, but I am trying to go over those top surfaces again. So a little tip if you don't use them. Makeup brushes are really nice for dry brushing. You can basically get a big pack of all different sizes. They're really cheap. So you don't need to go the real expensive makeup brushes. Just get some cheapy ones. And yeah, just smash it all over this Necron. But that's what he looks like after dry brushing. Now I use one of my favourite paints, Mephiston Red. So I'm using the Psycho from Army Painter here. I do use bigger brushes for small details, but I thought I may as well showcase this and just show you how easy it is 
on such a small brush. Now you don't want to overload this brush because it's really small and not many bristles. So you just want to put a little bit on the end. As you can see I haven't gone past halfway of the brush but it's really simple to do eyes so I thought I'd show you. Now I use Wild Rider Red. So we use the same technique as just before. About halfway on the brush you've got some Wild Rider Red. But we don't want to go over the whole of the eye. We want to sort of just leave a little glint, a little small dot in that eye. Just so it looks like it's glowing. And just for fun I use Uriel Yellow just because I was feeling a bit cocky and I thought I may as well do this one more time. Just show you again. That eyes aren't that hard to do especially if you've got a small brush like this. So now I'm using another shade, Caraber Crimson. Again if you use the Army Painter paints you can use their red or whatever. But what I'm going to do is fill up the eye socket with this just to try and give it a bit more of a glow look. Now back to our black wash. I'm just going to go over some details that are a bit faint. So in between his cheeks here and around his teeth just to bring out that mouth more. So I did go around all of the fingers just to darken them up a bit. So I go in between his fingers here because you really want to make them look like mechanical skeleton fingers. So I just take my time, use a fairly small brush, these are just cheapo brushes I've got. So I go in between the rib cage here and then as I said the fingers. Now I try to add a bit of shade here on the gun. So I go around a certain part but if you can see I've shaded it so I've left some parts the previous colour and then I've gone round and added a bit more in between certain details. So now I use Phoenician Purple and Demonette. And I just thought this little bit on the gun here, we'll do it purple. So I do the darker one first over and then I just get a little bit of that Demonette hide and just do little dots along just because it had a little bit of a separation in between it. Now we take a purple shade and we just go over that area and I do a little bit around it just to add a bit of a glow. But this is just a tabletop standard Necron now. But if you could give me a like, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. But for anyone that wants to keep on working on this with me, we're going to take it just a little bit further. So I've got the air lead belcher here. It just goes on nice and smooth once you've got that base coat down. So I go over all the raised areas. So his muscle or skeleton. So we just go around his spine. Go around his shoulders here. I just thought I'd do the beginning of the video as a sort of quick get them onto the tabletop standard for anyone that just wants a few tips. So you can sort of smash out your Necron Warriors with that technique, but I was really enjoying it. So I thought, oh, why not just push it a little bit further and just add a few more details. And I mean, this didn't take that long anyway, so if you want to do all of these techniques for your tabletop standard. But yeah, I'll just go over it with this Lead Belcher Air because it's really nice and smooth and I just go over all those raised areas, his nose, his chin, his teeth, just anywhere that I want a bit more highlight. Also at the start of the video for the tabletop standard, I thought I'd use easy paints that most people have, basic colours. But now I'm obviously using contrast and I used air paint, so not everyone would have these. But you can use lead belcher and then you can use any black paint here. But this is already pre-thinned or 
it's not a chunky paint so it just goes on really nice and smooth here but just take your time and go around the gun and don't get it on the Necron or the Chaos Android here I thought this really separated it though and made it look nice So now I use another contrast here, Flesh Terror's Red. Now we're basically doing what I did with the wash, because I thought oh, everyone would have the shade, or a red shade most people would have anyway, but I wanted those eyes to stand out a little bit more, so I used this, and also you'll notice I went around his chest piece. I just thought, I loved the way it looked, but I was really enjoying painting this, so I wanted to add a bit more red, make it a bit more chaos-like. Or, if I had a Necron army, I'd probably change the green to red. Now, I really do like the green look on Necrons, but, I don't know, I really like that red. It makes it look really... Now, I wanted to use chrome here, so I've got the Vallejo Air Chrome. It's one of my favourite paints for this sort of method, which is use a darker silver and build up to just the highlights being chrome. So I go around his eyebrows or the brow and his forehead and just all those areas that need that highlight. Now I just go over the tips of his feet here with some chrome and then I go down his, I guess you could call them toes So just take your time and try to leave a little bit of the shadow in between these parts So just drag your brush downwards or towards you But that's what he looks like after I put a lot of the red and a lot of the chrome on. So as you can see I've gone and added quite a lot of red around those wires, his chest. So now I use Troll Slayer Orange. You can use any nice sort of vibrant orange. And yeah I did go over that part that was purple. I just thought I had to blend it in and make it look like energy will match it with the Necron or the Chaos Android. So I'm just doing what I did with the purple. And just adding these little dashes along just to make it look a bit like energy and I do the same on the wires and on the chest here so on the chest I want to leave all that shadow red but I just want to drag the brush and just create a bit of a highlight just so it looks like a bright red I do the same on the wires here just add little dots try and leave a bit of red in between there And I do the same with the eyes here, just to try and make them look like they're glowing again after adding that contrast. We may have lost a bit of the highlight on the eye. So now we do the same that we did to the chest, but to this energy on his back here. So we just sort of dab on a little bit. And we just create some lines and we want to keep that red in between again so it looks like a shadow to the bright highlight. Now I could have probably used that psycho brush here would have helped but it wasn't being too neat I mean I am doing this for sort of a speedy video I'm not doing it for a golden demon but basically we want to do the same effect we want to add the orange on the highlight but we want to keep fair bit in between there for the shadow so I do this to most stuff I even do this little looks almost like a button or something on his back I do that and a little bit on his head there so now we're going to use the black wash again so I wanted to sort of help blend all of this stuff together so darken everything that I've done even that orange I wanted to darken a little bit and help it blend with the red a little bit more so it doesn't stand out as much. And just to add... This was my painting video for a Chaos Android or a Necron Warrior. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you watching. 
As always, this was G the Hyper Sapien, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.